pretty people. Welcome to Simply Delish Duo. Today we are going to show you how to make our eggplant casserole. You guys, take a look at this. We just took it out of the oven and I'm about to devour this. It is a simple, easy, cheesy, gooey casserole. Let me just cut into it and show you. Look at that, oh, wow. all that goodness. So if you like this recipe and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. For this recipe, you will need three large eggplants, and I've already diced my eggplants into small little pieces, three tablespoons of olive oil, a pinch of black pepper, a tablespoon of salt, two cups of mozzarella. You can also use a vegan mozzarella if you like, but today we are going to just use regular mozzarella. We've got a cup and a half of tomato sauce. This is our homemade tomato sauce, but you can also use store-bought tomato sauce. We've got a lined pan, parchment paper, because we will need to roast our eggplants before we put them in the casserole. This is an, this is an important step because if you skip this, you'll end up with a watery, soupy casserole, which you do not want. And you will also need a casserole dish. Now, going back to the tomato sauce, I remember, do you remember? Yes, every child on a Saturday morning was watching their cartoons and then all outside playing us, come September, in the garage making cases. <laughs> Cases and cases of tomato sauce. And it wasn't just tomato sauce that we would have to help our parents make. It was, we would pickle vegetables, canned fruits. We'd even help my dad make his homemade wine. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. And as the kids were outside playing, we'd have to be helping them every Saturday on a, on, in September. And the neighbors would come by to see what, we're, what we were up to. The only Italians on the block. So they were curious, I guess. Of course, yeah. of course. So childhood great, memories. Great memories, but very appreciative now. Yeah. Absolutely. And actually, my parents, who are both in their 70s, they still continue doing that every September. Yeah. And we, of course, we do go help out. They have a large cantina in their basement. And you go in, it's like a little mini Italian supermarket. They've got jars lined up of sauces and vegetables. And, and even the prosciutto yeah. sometimes hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, sausage. It's, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's, oh, like it's great. A, yeah. You know what? Our husbands love it. Yeah, and so yeah. do we. We well, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right, so let's get back to cooking here. What I'll do is... With with our eggplants, we'll just start off with uh, olive oil. We want to throw that into the eggplant and mix it all up because then we will have to roast, roast them. Okay, so I put in the olive oil and just give them a quick toss. The olive oil helps with the roasting. And just quickly, you don't have to be perfect here. And from there, let me just move everything aside. We'll just throw everything in the pan. And we've already have a, the oven preheated at about 375. And these will take about 20, 20 minutes or so to roast. So now I just have a question. Yeah. See, this is my sister's recipe. Now for the salt and pepper. I put that in later okay, actually because if I put in know. the salt now, yeah. I find that it gets more because eggplants are full of water mm -hmm. and I find that it gets too watery at this stage. Yeah. So that's why I wait until I till they're roasted and then and I then start pouring. preparing the casserole. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll finish uh, pouring everything into the pan and I'll get back to you and we'll... I, you don't need to see this step, but we'll just... Once I'm done this, I'll just throw it into the oven once they're roasted, I'll take them out and we'll show you our next step. So I've removed the eggplants out of the oven. You can see they're nicely roasted. And at this time, I'll throw in the black pepper and my teaspoon of salt and give them a nice mix. Just a quick nice mix. And then we'll get them, we'll put them in the casserole dish. Just a few more mixes here. We want to make sure that every piece has, has been incorporated with the seasoning. So now, with the casserole dish, what we will do, we're ready to place these together to create this casserole. We're going to put in a 
a spoon or two of your, whoops, I'm spilling, a spoon or two of the tomato sauce. Just to give it a good line. So, so the eggplants don't burn to the bottom. Maybe I'll put a little bit more here. All right. And now I will place all the eggplants into my casserole dish. So all my eggplants uh, are in the casserole dish. So I'll just top it off with my tomato sauce. And you want to be generous. You want to make sure you get the sauce everywhere. Now I've honestly never made this. So when you bake it in the oven, yeah, right now, like after you're done mozzarella and tomato yeah. sauce and everything, do you cover it or bake it uncovered? I do both. So I mm -hmm. start un I start covered, mm -hmm. and then I will uncover it. So then the cheese gets nice and crispy. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. I think we've got most of it. We, like I said, we want to make sure it's all nicely covered with sauce and then at the end we will put our grated mozzarella cheese and we want it we want to cover the complete top so every scoop you get you get a nice layer of cheese that looks good already it's, it's not even baked it's, it's good it almost tastes, it's not, it's a casserole, but it almost tastes like an eggplant parmigiana. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I'm like, that one. And, and we make stomach, that all the time. So, my stomach's already growling. Well, it is growling. You could probably hear it. Yeah, we make eggplant parmigiana mm -hmm. all the time. The difference is you layer your eggplants. Yes, and you yes. actually, what we do with ours is we fry the mm -hmm. eggplants and mm -hmm. we cut it differently. But we've got another, we'll show you our recipe to that. We'll videotape okay. our eggplant. So now... This goes in the oven, you said? Yeah, so I've, I've got the oven preheated at 375. It, sorry, pardon me, 400, and it goes in for about 15 minutes. We want to cover it with, I cover it with aluminum foil for the first five minutes, and then remove the aluminum foil. And so this way, like I said, the cheese gets nice and crispy. So we'll be back, I'll show you, I'll put this in the oven, and I'll show you what the end result looks like. So it's been about 10 minutes and I've removed the tin foil. And you can see it's all starting to bubble. You can, I don't know if you, yeah, of course you can see the bubbles there. So it's starting to bubble. Now we want that cheese, the mozzarella cheese, to become nice and crispy and everything baked nicely together. So I've taken our eggplant casserole out of the oven. You can see it's nice and crispy. The cheese has baked into there and it's nice and brown and I am ready to eat. So I'm gonna leave you guys here because I am ready to eat. Actually, no, I'm not ready. This will, because we just took this out, I do need to wait a few minutes. Yeah, we will burn our mouths. Yes, we, so I will need to wait a few minutes, but guys, it smells so good and it's so easy to make. So I recommend you guys try this recipe. Well, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bon appetit.